Hello everyone. Here it is, a beautiful day for sailing. It's Thursday afternoon, about 4 p.m. boat time on the 14th of December, 2023. I decided rather than waiting to get to the actual course line that I had set, I'd bear off a little and see if we could keep the boat moving. And uh, it's been a bit of a challenge. The wind is still from the southeast. It's picked up a little bit. It's about 15 knots now. But that current is a real bugger. I mean, I'm sailing, uh, of course, on the compass of 190. And the boat is actually making a course somewhere between 220 and 230 by the GPS. That's how much the current is pushing the boat sideways. I'm trying to balance the sails out and the amount of uh, helm that needs to be applied and getting it to work with the trusty old autopilot down here on the steering wheel. auxiliary rudder and the wind vane to steer, although that would be a challenge to get it to work under these conditions as well. Because uh, minor changes in the course change the apparent wind direction pretty and strength pretty rapidly. So right now I got it doing pretty well. Uh, the course, I said a quick waypoint course was 227. And we're somewhere between 225 and 235, I think. But really a beautiful day. There's a hint of coolness in the air, but pretty much clear skies overhead. We had clear skies last night, a lot of star shine. See all this star making the sea, the sea gold and silver out there, the sun. The seas are pretty regular. We haven't had uh, lumpy, bumpy, choppy, chunkies for quite a while. So it's nice to be out of that nonsense. Unfortunately, it looks like we're making about three and a half through the water, maybe four. But the current is actually now kind of helping a little bit. So we're maybe actually making somewhere around three and a half or four. But the current is still against us. I don't know what the vector exactly would be to work it out, but it is against us some amount and a much smaller amount helping us. So hopefully conditions continue like this through the night again. Beautiful, easy, quiet night. Just uh, making miles towards our goal, which is pretty much dead ahead now. Okay, bye for now. Hello, everyone. It's getting on towards 10.30 in the morning, local boat time, which is uh, GMT plus two. It's Sunday, the 17th of December, 2023. This will most likely be our last full day at sea on this rather annoyingly long passage. We're about 100 miles or so from the entrance to Richards Bay. And it's uh, pretty much straight ahead of us or a little bit to port. Been a mixed bag the last couple days with the wind up and down, the current against us. Now we seem to be in that Agulhas current a bit, carrying us south. The wind, unfortunately, is about east, uh, about south-southeast. If it were southeast, it'd be great. That it helped with the angle for the sails getting into the harbor. It's been a bit of a struggle current pushing us northwest and the wind coming from the south and we're trying to go south southwest 
fortunately, it's a beautiful day. Got some uh, trade winds type clouds out there. It's fairly clear. At night, especially along the shoreline, over that way, that's where the African continent is, not too far away, 20, 30 miles, something like that. Uh, the clouds often build up over the land at night. We haven't really gotten anything bad from them. I haven't seen any lightning. Uh, I think we've gotten a few little dustings of rain that never amounts to much. And often late at night, the sky, at least overhead, clears up enough to be able to see the stars. So, all things considered, most people would probably say, oh, this is a glorious day for sailing. And it is. Well, it would be for us if the wind were a little more east. As far as the northeast monsoon winds, this whole trip, I haven't seen them before more than uh, maybe two days, two and a half days out of the total trip. By far the most reliable wind, and that's only been the last 10 days or so, has been the southeast trades coming off the Atlanta, uh, the Indian, South Indian Ocean. And that's pretty much what uh, we're sailing in right now. There's a big ass swell coming in from the southeast that's coming off the ocean because out in that direction there's nothing until you get maybe to Antarctica so that's all open ocean there the southern tip of Madagascar is back there a ways so there's nothing out in front of us or at least a little bit to port, there's nothing. If you could sail due south from here, there'd be no land until you reached Antarctica. So all things considered, a pretty nice day for sailing on our last full day at sea. Not sure exactly what time we'll arrive at the harbor entrance. I suspect sometime tomorrow, before noon. That's about the biggest commitment I'm willing to make because uh, conditions here have been so variable in the wind speed, direction, uh, and what the current is doing to us that it's hard to say what will be happening this afternoon, let alone tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon. Anyway, finally, this is Sunday, so that's three weeks and five days on a passage that I thought we could possibly do in two weeks. Uh, some provisions are starting to get pretty thin. I don't think we would starve, but uh, drinks especially are starting to get pretty low. We got plenty of water though. And uh, we got enough basic foodstuffs to survive for a while more. But the diet is getting repetitive and a bit boring. All the fresh veggies and fruits and stuff are long gone now. Anyway, take care. Have a great Sunday in your easy chair if you're watching this at home. We're having the best day we can considering all things. Bye for now. Good evening, everyone. It's still... Breathe. 
pulled up into a nice 20 knot northeast monsoon on the last night of Cooking six, six and a half knots, a little bit from the current, I suspect. Seas aren't too bad, they're a little, uh, a little confused right now because this uh, breeze has only come up over the last few hours and it's still dealing with the residual from the south, south, southeast. kind of wind I was looking for. Not necessarily the first couple days, but after about the first week when we started. I thought, you know, we get this, 20 knot, northeast monsoon wind, northeast trade wind, whatever you want to call it, we could be down to Richards Bay in two weeks. Certainly in three, said the first week was a waste. So when do we get it? The last Ah, ah, ah. Joke on Fred. Uh, now. 